afternoon. So let's find out if an apple a day keeps the doctor away. We live in a world full of, sub full of substances that can harm our health. They're everywhere, in the things we eat, in the things we smell, in the tools we use. We usually don't think much about them because we don't get sick immediately. But when we're exposed to them continuously, is when our risk for many diseases like cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer, or mental disorders increases. Health professionals are aware of the importance of the environment, and they give several advice. However, what is lacking is practical advice on how can we limit our exposure to these substances. There is one way to vary. Vary everything that you use, especially the things that you use every single day. Why should we, should, why should we vary? Because when we're exposed to these substances in very small quantities, the immune system can withstand it and it can clean it away. However, when, when we're exposed to it continuously, it's when they start to build up in many of our tissues, in the kidney, in the liver, or other tissues, or, or, or when the genome is damaged. So it's the dose that makes the poison. Don't think of the dose in the immediate, but the dose that accumulates day after day. Nothing in excess. So we have to rethink excess. It's not one-time excess, but the excess of using it every single day. It's very difficult to know when excess becomes an excess, and sometimes we don't even know. So what we can do is think of the things that you use every single day and make a list. For example, I usually wake up, I drink a glass of water, uh, milk, cereal, and an apple, and then I take a bath using my favorite shampoo, my favorite soap, then I use my deodorant and perfume, cream. So everything that I mention, I use every single day. If one of those products contains one ingredient that can harm me, it's going to increase my chances of getting sick. So I'll give you some examples of how we can vary. Water. Usually we use the same brand of water uh, many times a day for weeks and years and even decades. It's the same brand or the same source. When we're drinking water, we're also being exposed to other substances like microorganisms, natural uh, radioactive substances, or minerals. There are studies that show that the minerals between the, the brands of water or the sources vary enormously. And what they recommend is, if, if you have hypertension, choose water low in, in sodium. And if you have the disposition of, of having gold stones or kidney stones, be aware of the content of the minerals. However, if we don't know our predisposition, and we don't know what our water has, and we don't know how our body is going to react, the best way is to vary. So, when you go to the supermarket, instead of buying six gallons of the same brand, choose one from a different brand. Choose from different containers, from glass, carton, or from crystal. And also, um, buy from different sources, and, and you can apply this to any of the products that you buy. Sometimes we eat or we use things for years before we find out that they contain something that might, might harm us. For example, maple syrup. In 1995, they found out that the tools that they used to make maple syrup contained lead. So for centuries, people that vary their, their honey and their sugars were less exposed to lead than the people that used uh, maple syrup continuously. Another example is rice. In the last years, there have been reports that show that rice contains high amounts of arsenic. There's, uh, rice is something that many people use daily, and even in some countries, the babies use uh, rice cereal as the first food or they use um, rice milk instead of cow milk. So the FDA says that the amount of arsenic does not give an, uh, an immediate effect. It, it doesn't have a sufficient amount to make an acute effect. However, they do say that other studies are needed to determine the long-term long effects of using rice with arsenic for a long, long term. 
So the consumer re reports recommend to vary our grades. Uh, when we vary, an, an additional thing is, well, there's about 30 types of grades. So when you eat other types of grains, they vary enormously in amount of nutrients, in amount of minerals and vitamins. So if you use one rice or one grain every single day, you won't have the advantage of having a, a more balanced diet. Think, not only think of the things that you eat, because basically everything that enters our body through our senses interacts with our genes. So, for example, the things that we put in our, in, in our skin and that we leave it there the whole day, like cream, perfume, deodorant, um, makeup, or nail polish, those products are tested, but most of the tests are for acute use. So we, we don't know what these, these substances are going to do to, to our health in the long, long term. There is some studies, for, for example, that assess the association between deodorant and breast cancer. And the studies are inconclusive. One study showed that there is an increase of breast cancer when using uh, deodorant. Another one says that deodorant is protective of, of, against breast cancer. Another couple of studies say that there is no association. So it is very difficult to, to test this in the long term. First of all, we all react differently to these substances. And also, the, the products contain different ingredients. So let's take advantage that they contain different ingredients and, and vary them. All, all the things that we smell, like um, hairspray or perfume, or all the products that we use to clean, it's not the fresh, the, the smell that you, that you breathe is not natural freshness. It's, it's chemicals, and we don't know what these chemicals will do to our health in long term. So if you're going to smell chemicals, it's better to vary your, your chemicals. So going back to an apple. Um, an apple a day does not keep the doctor away. However, if we vary and we take on other types of apples, it might keep the doctor away for longer. And if you eat different types of fruits, including apple, you might keep away the doctor even for longer. Thank you.